our last day. So we are all packed. Let me just show you. So we've got our suitcases ready to go. It is about 20 past eight. So it's a little bit later than we had planned. So standard for us. Um, but we have just ordered an Uber. So we're gonna head down, quickly check out, and then get an Uber to the train station, store our luggage, and then we'll probably have about half hour, maybe 45 minutes left of extra magic hour. So main thing we wanna do is the Crushes Coaster in Studios Park, because we've not done that yet. So we'll head over, do that. Maybe RC Racer, because I really wanna do that again. Tarotero. I'm definitely not doing Taratero, he's crazy. <laughs> one one and only time. Um, yeah, so do that, and then that's really all the rides done that we um, wanted to do. Let me just show you my outfit today, it's super cute. So I have my Mad Hatter tea party lounge lie bag from March Mini Mouse Main Attraction. I have these ears, I can't remember where they were from, but they're from an Etsy shop. I will link them below. I've got my Triton's Treasure. Disneyland necklace on and then just a teal top and some baggy trousers so that is my outfit for the day so we're gonna head on down to reception now and then get to the train station so Phil's just doing a last minute sweep of the room you know the anxiety of leaving a hotel room even though we didn't even unpack but I'm pretty sure we've got everything so let's get going bye room So, so far this trip, or for the whole trip, we've only used the bus once, and that's because of the awkward timings of the bus. So, yeah, there is a free bus here, but are you gonna use it? Not if you've got extra magic hours, and not if you stay until park close. So it's only worth it if you're going to and through the parks within park opening hours. But at least it's there as an option. Um, a lot of people like go back for midday breaks and stuff, but we're not that kind of people, so. Or I almost did though on the first day, I was like, I'm so tired. Yeah. But I powered through, I powered through. Phil was like, you're not that kind of Disney person. I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Hopefully this is going into, yes. So yeah, from our hotel to the train station in an Uber is literally five minutes. And then it costs us eight euros this morning. So pretty cheap. And it's literally just gone half past, I think. So drop our bags off and straight into Studio Park. So if we remember correctly, the lockers are just over there where it's got the yellow at the top there. So just above the Starbucks. So you're probably best off coming in the entrance either just here or the one closest to Disney because this train station is very busy and difficult to navigate around a crowd of people so that's probably the best entrance um, and then the lockers obviously I'll show you the price and how to do those but from what I remember it's pretty simple lockers are open from 7 a.m. until 10 o'clock so this is where you come in and then I'm pretty sure you have to get everything yeah you have to get it all scanned and stuff okay so we just figured out um, that you can't pay by card so Phil's got to go down and get cash out so I've got the bags here and he's got to go down here somewhere there's a cash machine to take some cash out so if you're going to use this service just remember to have some euros on you he's told us to take out 10 euros so just a reminder so you guys don't make the same mistake This is the size of the lock lockers, so they're pretty big. You can get big ones or I guess small ones. So we have a medium sized locker. And the guy's been very helpful. Messy. Messy. 
and there's your tickets. Bags are all dropped off. It was super easy. So for us, um, for the medium size locket, it was seven euros fifty. So maybe bring like fifteen euros just to be on the safe side, depending on your luggage. But really, really easy to use. Um, it's just coins, obviously, but they have a coin machine in there as well. So we are going to head on into Disney. So because we've had to come out of the train station, we have to use the main entrance rather than the bus entrance, which we use, um, you know, when you're walking through from our hotel. So this entrance tends to be much busier, but obviously it's extra magic hours this morning. So it seems to be reasonably quiet. Do we go through? Oh, either or, that looks quieter, so we could go through that one. So this technically is Disney Village entrance. That's technically the Disney Park entrance, but they both go to the same place, so this looks super quiet, so we'll go through this one. I bought this lanyard yesterday for my annual pass, and then I got a different holder for it. Let me see your holder. That's the one that came with the lanyard, and Philly's got it for his. So we decided to just put two plastic wallets on one lanyard. So we're looking for the... Here we go, Magic Plus. So this is for anyone who has extra magic hours, which I believe is people staying on certain Disney, in certain Disney hotels, and if you have Infinity and Magic Plus passes. This way. <laughs> oh, I don't know, interesting. So just got a scan at the entrance with the member of staff to show you've got extra magic hours and then get in the queue. Bonjour. Bonjour. Okay. And then get in the queue. So, I believe Crushes is going to be busy, but we haven't done it yet, so I think this is our best chance. So, whatever the queue is, we'll just get in. Also, we've got reasonably fresh legs and feet <laughs> for now, so we'll do the long queue if it is a long queue now rather than doing it towards the end of the day. Um, such a beautiful day today thank god it's been awful the last two days so it's a shame that it didn't hold out for the last two days so we could have like the drones on both nights but at least we've got a nice sunny day today for lots of pictures nope absolutely not god you think one time would be enough for you <laughs> so this is the entrance as you come in I'm not sure if I showed this the other day so that's the Pandora shop over there and then it's just like kind of Hollywood themed I guess you would call it but it's all undercover so it's a good place to come like like yesterday and the day before when it was raining it's a good place to eat and shop out of the rain but it does get very busy in here when the weather's not good Crush's coaster is just to the right of the exit when you come out so it looks busy there is a line all the way outside and the ride should have been going for at least half hour by now so that's kind of worrying so this is the queue for crushes coaster extra magic hours 80 minutes obviously we're half hour late to extra magic so what we're going to do is we're going to jump in single rider so it's a 35 minute wait obviously it's a shame that we don't get to ride together but I'd rather wait 35 minutes than 80 minutes. single rider and it was showing a 35 minute wait probably about 40 minutes so it wasn't too bad what's frustrating is obviously it's a really short queue so you see the ride for ages so it does feel like you're waiting forever but it was quite accurate the wait time um, compared to like other single rider queues because of the layout of the um, the ride car it's two and two you get quite a lot of families that are either two or four so it doesn't move as quickly as other single rider queues, which I guess why it was like a 35, 40 minute wait, but still so much quicker than um, getting an 80 minute queue. So I'm pleased we did single rider. 
So we have decided to do RC Racer because that's another one of my faves and the queue for that was about, um, it's shown about 35 minutes. No, did you say 35? 35 yeah, minutes. 35, so it's not too bad. So we're going to do that and then we're going to head out and grab some breakfast. It's such a glorious day today. Um, it seems quite busy though, but it has been the last two days, so um, I don't know if there's some sort of holiday going on for maybe the German and the Dutch, because there seems to be quite a few yeah. German and Dutch people today. Slinky Dog is very, very different to the one in Florida. It's much more kid-friendly, although I would say the one in Florida is as well, but maybe like very small kid-friendly. Just on our way out of studios, and it's about half 11, 11? Quarter to 11. <laughs> Quarter to 11, and the single rider queue for Crush is 90, and then the normal rider queue is 120 minutes. That's absolutely insane. So that's at quarter to 11. So I'm glad that we did it when we did because um, otherwise there's no way we would have ridden it. You can buy Premier access for it, but it's about 13 euros. So it is one of the most expensive ones. So I would suggest trying to do it as early as possible to get the shortest wait time because who wants to wait 120 minutes for a ride? Definitely not me. We thought we'd come and check out where Avengers, Avengers Campus is gonna be because we actually haven't walked to the side of the park yet and we're leaving so just thought we'd give you a quick look. So this is, you've got a stitch live just to the left and then I don't even know what that is, heroic experience over there, some sort of show I guess and then Avengers Campus. You can see they're still doing some construction but it's very similar looking to already to um, what we've seen from California so I feel like this bit here is where they'll do that show um, and Spider-Man comes out and gets flung somewhere so exciting and they've just announced the date yesterday they gave us an opening date of june 20th which is super exciting so we won't be here um anywhere near that kind of time but we're hoping to come back possibly sometime around halloween exciting we'll get to see it hopefully this year yeah, hopefully by halloween. yes it's gonna be good it does look really good from all the stuff we've seen in california but there's this a massive open space here so i don't know if they're gonna end up filling this because i don't know extended queue <laughs> extended queue for something <laughs> and then so over here is studio d which is that stitch live thing but yeah so we're gonna head on out now and go get some breakfast starbucks time so i got a caramel frappe i wanted to get the salted caramel cold brew but they didn't have it you got a latte with a shot of caramel and then phil got some cinnamon buns and i got a chocolate cake which i'm excited for so not a healthy breakfast at all but we're on holiday. Look at that. How good does that look? Yummy, yummy, yummy. So we just found the Lego store. So we're gonna head on in and it's somewhat near the end of like the strip, I guess you'd call it. There is the balloon, which we've still never done. And then if you go down that road there, that takes you to McDonald's and that's Starbucks. So we're gonna head into the Lego store. That's called the Paris Display. Oh, they got a Maleficent in the doorway as well. That's cool. Ah, Mickey. He looks cool. Lots of Star Wars. And they have, oh, they've got the 50th castle, but the mini version. Oh, and they got the big version. 350 euros for the big one or 35 for the small one. They also have Harry Potter. What the hell? Never ever thought I'd see Harry Potter stuff in a Disney resort, which is super strange. But ah, oh, they have the um, Diagon Alley. That's cool. I haven't seen this yet. 
How much is that? Has it got a... That one? Is it this one? 400 euro, I think. Looks about right. Whew, that's a lot of money. That's cute. Bill said he wants the pod racer. Which one is the pod racer? Luke Skywalker. I like the cantina. Whoa, the AA is 800 euros. Cantina is 350, and then the Skywalker's Land Speeder is 200 euros. Lego is crazy money. Ah, oh, you can make your own minifigure so you can personalise it to look like you. They have Elsa's play set castle as well, 210 euros. Oh, they've got aerials. That's cool. I've not seen that before. I like that one. 85 euro. How amazing does that look? That is so awesome. And that is all those flat bricks. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. That looks amazing. And there you are, Phil. <laughs> Didn't know you could ride a horse. <laughs> so we're just at the end of Disney Village, which is by Panor Panor Panorama Magique. Panorama Magique. <laughs> and the new New York Hotel is literally just over there. So we decided we're going to go over and do a full resort tour for you guys. So if you want to check out that video, I'm going to probably put that up next week. So go and check that out. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see that one. Um, but for now, we're going to go probably head back into Disneyland Park yeah. and finish the day there. Um, and then we have to leave about quarter past six, I think it was, because our train is around seven-ish. Seven, yeah. yeah, so we'll head over there now and see what we can get done. So we just had a quick look in World of Disney and they don't have a lot of the 30th um, merch left. So they don't have the spirit jersey, don't have the lounge light bag, don't have the blue and white ears. They no do pins. no pins. Um, all they've really got is, so they've got one pair of ears, which is the gold ones, which they're nice, but they don't even say 30th on them. They only say 30th on the tag. Um, and then they've got the plushes and some blankets and like chocolate tins and stuff like that, but not the like big ticket things that everybody's after. So they do seem to have just sold out of it all, which is such a shame because I really wanted to get the spirit jersey and what's the other thing I wanted? Oh, the blue and white ears I wanted to get. So it's a little bit gutting, but we will be back hopefully during the 30th anyway. But just bear that in mind. If you are after any specific merch, it might be hard for you get, to get it. So also when we went to Starbucks, I wanted to get the two normal, what are they called? Wish you were here, you are here mugs. And I also wanted to get the 30th one, but they didn't have the normal Disneyland one or the 30th, they only had the studios mug which is a shame but again we'll be back at some point so i'll grab those when we can but just bear that in mind if you're thinking of getting specific merch you might be a bit disappointed so maybe have low expectations and then whatever you're able to get is a bonus we just took some photos in front of the floral mickey and they were so cute because we took some the other day but the weather wasn't very good so hopefully they look better today um yeah, so we're gonna head on into Disneyland Park now. Just gotta get our passes checked. So this is our last time heading on in through the entrance into Disneyland Park. Uh, do we get a special? We do. We've got a special queue for us pass holders. <laughs> Not that it's needed, but we'll do it anyway, because you know, paying for it. <laughs> Let's go through. Bonjour. It'll be nice to see the hotel when it's all finished. See what kind of updates they make or whether they're just like, um, what's the word, like repainting and stuff. But here's our last look heading into the 30th. Actually, I think I'll get some photos here because I've got a nicer outfit today. They've got, I don't know if they're always there, the stained glass windows, they probably are. Maybe we'll ride the train today because we haven't done that today. 
how much prettier does it look on a nice sunny day? I mean, it looks gorgeous on any day, but on a beautiful sunny day like this, it's just glistening. So again, it's another quite busy day, I would say. I think every day, every Disney day is now a busy day. Who is meeting over here? It's Max, I think. Yes, Max is over here. I've never seen Max do a meet and greet actually, that's kind of cool. Oh, she's cute. Oh, Penguin from Mary Poppins. He's off. And Mary and Bert are still meeting by the gazebo. And then I guess it's Pooh over there again. Can't see. I love being on Main Street. It's awesome just taking in the atmosphere like sometimes I like doing this so like obviously we did a couple rides in the morning but then the rest of the time it's kind of like just taking it all in just feeling all the Disney vibes yeah and it's because the sun's out it makes such a difference to like how you feel which is crazy <laughs> yeah Phil always trips up on these things but you've yet to do it this trip but I don't think I did it in Florida either yeah you did <laughs> And then I'll just show you the last few of the statues from the 30th. So we've got Stitch here on a palm tree. Then we have Eve, but we don't have Wally. And I love Wally, but here's Eve. And then we also have some of the aliens here, which I think is really cool. This is one of my faves, I think. And then Snow White. This one's pretty cool as well. I quite like that one. And I love that you can get like an amazing shot of the statue and the castle in the background. And I love, it's such a silly detail, but I love the fact that the trees around the castle are square. I just think it's such a cool touch. And then we have over here, Aurora. And then the last one is Cinderella. And these, again, you can get such an amazing shot by the castle. Someone just lost their balloon. That's so sad and so expensive. <laughs> That's like 20 euros just flying off in the sky. So as always, it's super busy in Fantasyland. Um, what do you think about riding Dumbo? What's the wait time? Because we haven't done it yet and it is actually a cute ride. I really wanted to do the maze but the queue is horrendous and I don't think the maze would be fun if you're just like if there's a big group of people and you're just following everyone so we have done it before and it was quiet and it was good so I don't want to ruin that experience. 60 minutes. Ooh, maybe not then I don't want to do Dumbo and wait 60 minutes. It is a good ride but it's also right in the sun and I will the maze is zero spend. minutes. Definitely not <laughs> zero minutes so there's a huge queue. Okay let's walk that way and see what we can find. Oh no, a whole bunch of Mickey balloons! Oh, that's tragic! That's like a hundred hundred euros worth of balloons flying over Fantasyland. <laughs> oh my god. So we've just walked under the castle and it looks as though we can get to Maleficent through here. So, it's very dark so I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see. one of the gift shops in the castle that's nice oh my god that looks oh it's 700 euros that looks so cool i really like that so this is i think it's the place where you can buy those wands they do lots of like glass 
Westminster, which is kind of cool. Lots of jewellery over there. So these are the ones you can get. I'm not sure if you can get them custom or whether you just have to order what they have, but they make them all right here. And then here you can see some of the really special ones on display. So this is what they look like. And they are by Arebus Brothers. And uh, that one there is 50 euros, so I imagine they're all around the same kind of price. They're super special. That's crazy. Whoa, look at that one. They're massive. But that's a cool job. But we realised we haven't ridden Autopia here in Paris before and it's a 30 minute wait so we're going to go and give this a go. I'm not too good at the one in Florida and I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same in terms of like the track and stuff so probably won't be that good a driver. I'll probably get Phil to do it but um, yeah this will be fun. Should we do one each? Maybe not. <laughs> I kind of want to, but then I, I don't know, it won't be as fun. But then it would, I don't know. If I could do it twice, then I would do it on my own, but I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> Looks like we got a pink one! Woo! Goes with my outfit. Oh, Philly's got to get on first. Because Philly is driving. So I let him go in front of me. <laughs> oh god, my, I'm going to lose my ears. Hey, okay, we got to beat them. They can't go ahead of us. Come on, Billy. Pedal to the metal. I am. <laughs> it hangs to me. Big traffic jam over there. That looks fun. These seem much smoother than Disney World. They're not quiet as well, I think. Oh, yeah. I can't, yeah. Are they petrol? Because I can't smell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you crossed your arms then. No, no. Yes, you did. I'm a perfect <laughs> so good but that looks so messy I'm gonna make such a mess um, and chips and a drink so let's see if I can eat this without spilling in all over myself mm, that's nice. that tastes really good and unlike in Florida you get a a proper full foot. Is it called a foot long? Yeah, because in Florida you get like a tiny hot dog, so for the vegetarian one. So you actually get a full foot long, which is amazing. So it's time for us to start heading out. Our Disney trip is coming to an end. Oh dear. Um, so it's about six, I think. Trains at seven ish. 7.20 so we're heading out a little bit early we might linger around the front for a bit but I'd rather be early than late plus I think our legs and our feet are pretty much done I can't take any more cues so we're gonna head to the front maybe grab a snack before we leave or something like that but we've had such a fun time 
Um, I think the parade is currently going on at the front, so we'll probably be stuck behind that for a little bit. Um, might pop in the shops on the way through and see if there's anything new, but it doesn't seem to be much in the shops at the moment. Yeah, but just soak up the atmosphere on Main Street one last time before we say goodbye. We just found a cool medallion, so it's the Pirates of the Caribbean medallion, and this is just in the arcade, which is behind the shops on Main Street. So this is like a, a little cut through that um, means you can kind of avoid the Main Street crowd, which is good. And then like all the shops, you can pop in on your way down. We're just gonna pop to the other side and see if they've got any of the 30th stuff in there other than the usual stuff we've already seen. Still looking for spirit jerseys, the blue ears, and the lounge fly bag, but doesn't seem promising. Oh, is that a spirit jersey? Oh my gosh, it's a spirit jersey. It's a spirit jersey. That is the first time I've seen it on this trip. So it's got the 30 logo on the front with the castle, and then on the back, Disneyland Paris and then 30 years of magic on the side and that is where is it 65 euros I might have to grab it but I'm not sure yet and then that looks like it I don't think they've got anything else in they've still got just the gold ears so we've just left Disneyland Park and these are the posters that I was on about so I've got Phil taking pictures of them all because I just think they're really awesome so I probably use them as like I don't know phone backgrounds or something but I just think they're awesome I wish you could buy them I mean I didn't see them anywhere but that might be something that you can do that one's quite nice it's like a Pirates of the Caribbean one this is the one that I love which they've covered a little bit but hopefully Phil can get a good shot of it but they have them all across and they look so good Space Mountain is pretty awesome as well <laughs> he's laughing at me because he's got to stand and take a photo of each one so that is the end of our Disney trip oh, yeah but we've had such a good time and because we are now annual pass holders we will be back soon won't we so most likely October, we're thinking Halloween, maybe squeeze in a quick trip before. See what we can do. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. But yeah, so that is it. We're going to head home now, go to the train station and collect our bags. So I hope you enjoyed these few vlogs. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because of course there will be more Disney content to come. So thank you all so, so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye, Bye guys.